Raptor 3 arrived as SpaceX's herald of tomorrow, a marvel of thrust and precision. Yet even this masterpiece bears hidden imperfections, as Elon Musk recently admitted. What flaws linger within its roaring heart, and how will SpaceX forge them away? Join us today as we uncover Raptor 3's secrets and the innovation that will perfect its fire, right here on Great SpaceX. There's no doubt that Raptor 3 is still one of the most anticipated updates when discussing the Starship system. That is because Raptor 2, despite flying on multiple missions, continues to present operational issues across both Super Heavy and Ship. These problems largely stem from the engine's complex internal design, which includes many small, fragile components. This level of complexity creates opportunities for malfunction and makes the system more difficult to operate and maintain. Moreover, after these setbacks seen with version 2 of Starship, SpaceX is now focused on developing a more powerful and refined version 3. That shift requires a more advanced and capable engine to match, and Raptor 3 is expected to be the engine that leads the way. Since its debut, particularly during the launch campaign last August, the Raptor 3 engine has become a central focus of attention. Visually, it is easy to distinguish this new version thanks to its sleek, minimalistic design. Much of the intricate pipework and fine detail found in earlier versions has been eliminated. This structural simplicity sparked high expectations for improved reliability, reduced manufacturing and refurbishment time, and better reusability. Key performance indicators, such as thrust and specific impulse, have also shown improvement in testing. Everything about it may sound perfect, but as is often the case in engineering, no system is without its flaws. Raptor 3 is no exception. These concerns were confirmed by none other than Elon Musk, SpaceX's chief engineer and CEO. In a recent post on X, Musk commented on the startup mechanism of the Raptor 3, stating, Very complex startup sequence. Insane timing precision is needed to avoid blowing up the engine. This statement came as a surprise. Many had assumed that Raptor 3's improvements included a more streamlined startup. While its outer structure may appear simplified, the inner workings of its startup sequence remain a major engineering challenge. So what makes this engine so complex to start? Raptor 3, like its predecessors, uses a full-flow, staged combustion cycle, powered by liquid methane and liquid oxygen. This is one of the most sophisticated engine cycles in rocketry. It delivers high performance and reusability, but it also requires an extremely precise series of events during ignition. To begin with, the engine must be cooled in a phase known as engine chill. This step ensures that the components do not suffer thermal shock when they come into contact with cryogenic propellants. Managing the flow and pressure of the fuel at this stage is critical because even small inconsistencies can create air bubbles in the cooling system and lead to damage. After chilling, the spin-up phase begins. This is when two separate turbo pumps, one for liquid methane and one for liquid oxygen, are spun at high speeds. Each pump feeds fuel into its respective preburner, where a small portion of the fuel is burned to produce hot gas. This gas then drives the turbines that power the pumps. If the pumps do not reach their optimal speed and perfect synchronization, the result could be vibrations, instability, or outright failure of the engine. Once the pumps and turbines are operating properly, the next step is ignition of the preburners. This is one of the most sensitive points in the process. The correct fuel ratios and flow rates must be maintained or the engine can suffer a hard start, which is a sudden and uncontrolled ignition that may severely damage internal components. Assuming ignition is successful, the hot gas produced in the preburners then enters the main combustion chamber. Here, the remaining methane and oxygen are mixed and fully combusted to produce thrust. The handoff between preburner ignition and full combustion must occur in a tightly coordinated sequence with timing measured in milliseconds. Even a slight delay or imbalance can create major issues. Once the engine reaches full power, 
the work is not over. The avionics system must continuously monitor dozens of variables, including temperature, pressure, and fuel flow. Any variation outside of the acceptable range could reduce efficiency or endanger the mission. Altogether, the full-flow staged combustion cycle requires an exceptionally high level of coordination between mechanical systems, electronic controllers, and fluid dynamics. That is why Musk emphasizes the need for insane timing precision. The use of cryogenic propellants adds even more difficulty. Liquid methane and oxygen must remain stable during all these operations, despite their volatility and sensitivity to environmental conditions. Additionally, Starship does not rely on a single engine. Both the booster and the upper stage use clusters of Raptor engines. This means every one of these engines must start, operate, and shut down in perfect synchronization during ascent and landing. That level of complexity increases exponentially with the number of engines involved. Finally, it is worth noting that SpaceX is designing Raptor 3 to be reusable, cost-effective, and easy to produce. Each of these goals places further constraints on the engine's design and operation, adding to the overall challenge. If these issues are not carefully addressed and resolved, there remains a significant risk that the engine could fail during startup or in flight, exactly as Musk has warned. Raptor 3, while praised for its power and innovation, remains a challenging engine in both its operation and development. The real concern goes deeper into how the engine is built. To create a simpler and lighter engine, SpaceX removed traditional components like bolts and flanges. These elements, though useful in modular engine design, contribute to added weight, thermal hotspots, and more potential points of failure due to leaks. In their place, SpaceX adopted an almost entirely welded design. While this approach offers structural integrity and reduces failure points, it introduces a major drawback, the lack of serviceability. Musk himself addressed this in an interview with Everyday Astronaut, stating that once welded, the engine cannot be easily disassembled. If a component deep within the engine needs replacing, technicians must cut into the structure, compromising its integrity and requiring extra labor and time for reassembly. This process conflicts with one of SpaceX's key goals, rapid reuse. The idea behind Starship's architecture is to fly, land, and fly again with minimal turnaround. But with an engine that requires destructive access for repairs, this vision becomes harder to realize. To counter this, SpaceX must aim for extremely high reliability in each engine, minimizing the need for refurbishment altogether. Yet in real-world conditions, absolute reliability is rarely achievable. These two major challenges, the complicated startup and the difficulty of maintenance, highlight the trade-offs SpaceX has made in the pursuit of simplicity and performance. There may be additional, less visible issues as well, which only time and more launches will reveal. Feel free to share your insights in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on SpaceX's evolving journey with Raptor 3. To move forward, SpaceX could refine the startup sequence, simplifying it by grouping actions and automating steps. Doing so may reduce the margin for error and allow engineers to diagnose problems faster and more effectively. Sensor upgrades are also key. Advanced real-time telemetry, watching over every pressure point, thermal shift, and fuel surge would sharpen insight and improve control. Smart diagnostics, paired with automation, could react instantly to anomalies, increasing reliability across flights. Then comes the problem of refurbishment. With a welded structure, routine maintenance becomes a surgical operation. But innovation may yet offer a compromise. Even in a welded design, Modular internal units, accessible through ports or removable panels, could allow limited repairs without total disassembly. There's also a more pragmatic approach, build more engines. If SpaceX can mass-produce Raptor 3s at scale, replacement becomes a faster, cheaper alternative to repair. This model aligns with their vision of a high-cadence Starship flight, though it does raise concerns about long-term sustainability. Yet this might only be a stepping stone. On the horizon looms Raptor 4, rumored to push between 330 and 335 tons of thrust. Such an upgrade would give Starship the strength to surpass 10,000 tons at liftoff, a milestone in humanity's pursuit of Mars and beyond. Raptor 4 could be more than a power boost, it may offer a fundamental rethinking of engine architecture. 
cleaner startup logic, improved serviceability, greater modularity, and seamless integration with future Starship designs. If so, it would build on Raptor 3's lessons, retaining simplicity as the guiding star. In the end, Raptor 3 stands as both a marvel and a challenge. Its beauty lies in its ambition, its flaws in the friction between design and function, but such tension is the essence of innovation. Through trial, refinement, and iteration, the future will roar to life, one ignition at a time. What would you do to perfect the Raptor? Let me know in the comments, and keep watching as the engine and the dreams it carries continue to evolve. There's also no need to question when we're going to see the new engine in action. That's because there's been confirmation that Raptor 3 is expected to make its long-awaited debut alongside the Starship V3 prototypes, specifically B-18 and S-39. While more V3 prototype pairs are expected to follow in the months ahead, only one launch featuring B-18 and S-39 is anticipated before the end of the year. That single flight will be critical, offering SpaceX its first real opportunity to collect in-flight data on Raptor 3's performance, durability, and any remaining imperfections that may surface in operational conditions. Despite the hurdles that remain, excitement around Raptor 3 has never been stronger. It stands on the cusp of becoming the most powerful, efficient, and advanced engine in active development. From simplified design and reduced mass to increased thrust and deep for reuse potential, Raptor 3 promises to solve many of the challenges that have faced Starship so far. Whether its debut is flawless or filled with lessons, Raptor 3 represents more than just another iteration. It's a statement of intent. As the next chapter in propulsion, this engine leads the charge in transforming Starship into a truly reusable system. Until Raptor 4 takes shape, all eyes now turn to B-18 and S-39, and the moment that Raptor 3 finally roars to life. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.